I think it's going to be the liquid gas show for the first few stages. Wouldn't surprise me if he'd win five in a row. It's rare, but, but uh, that guy is phenomenal, and he's always on form. You mentioned early on that uh, Sagan would probably win the first five stages. He's, uh, he's on a roll, isn't he? He's on a roll. There's no doubt about that. Today looks pretty ideal for him, too. So certainly there's a chance to break a getaway, but I would say it's probably coming back to a field sprint. There's going to be two opportunities for the pure sprinters like Robbie McEwen and, and some of the other guys from Kelly Benefits and all that stuff. This is really, I guess, Kelly Optum. Sorry. This is really their best shot for the flat sprint and, of course, the last stage of the race. So I'd say another field sprint, another good opportunity for Sagan to win. It's a tough stage, 130 miles, longest stage of Amgen Tour of California. Uh, your goals for today, and you mentioned about three other teams that should take responsibility. Are you hoping that your team will not have to take responsibility for today? Actually, I think we'll probably have to do a little bit of work today because I think when you look at liquid gas, they've won three stages already. Certainly, they, I, don't, I don't think they'll turn down a fourth, but they're not, they're not, they don't have the fresh guys to do 130 miles on the front. And certainly, I don't know if they're thinking Sagan for the GC. Nibley doesn't look like he has a form, so maybe today we got to do a little bit just to keep it close, and then when their guys get a little bit of rest, and they'll come back and take over. And I think you look at Garmin, us, and a few other teams will have to do at least a guy up on front to keep things somewhat close. Well, set the record straight, because a lot of fans and spectators see how well Sagan's doing, and they have the time trial coming up. They still think he can win the whole thing. I never haven't seen that out of him. He's a phenomenal kid. I love him. I'm a Sagan supporter, but that's if he pulls out Baldy, then then he's not, not going to get past Chris Horner. Then that's, that's why well, he's guy. He doesn't have to get past me. He's just got to stay somewhat <laughs> near. But that's a that's a tall order for a guy his size. So I haven't seen it happen. But I mean, if he comes out of here with 50 seconds or something, and then he does a good TT, all of a sudden at Baldy, he's just got to stay within a minute of everyone. He has Nibbly in front of him, who's not on great form, but maybe still better than him, so he just rides tempo for him. So you got to start asking yourself that question, but I'm not willing to give it in, give into it just yet. All right. Well, good luck in the time trial because that's where the first uh, decisive moments are going to come. All right, thanks, Brandon.